with uh, Seinfeld, DDM353. Uh, and I'll start with Holly and Jerry. We got a little bit of the waiter, too. So let me start with Lita. Uh, I'll have you be Holly. Everton is Jerry, and Gustavo will be the waiter. Go for it, guys. I can't believe Elaine's never taken you here before. Well, I'm really not much of a meat eater. You don't eat meat? What are you, one of those? Well, no, I'm not one of those. Well, when we were little girls, Grandma and Mama would take us to matinee and then dinner here. Well, Grandma and Mama? Elaine must have mentioned Grandma and Mama. No, I think I would have remembered uh, Mama. Oh, well, that's typical. Elaine's never, never lean, uh, like Grandma Mama. Ready? Uh, I'll have the porterhouse, medium rare, baked potato with sour cream. What do you recommend besides a steak? Lamb chop sarigu. Anything lighter? How do you prepare the chicken? It's a full bear stuffed with ham topped with the golden sola. You know what? I think I'll just have a salad. Thank you. Just a salad. Just a salad. Just a salad. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. So tell me, Everton, would you have steak? Would you have lamb? Would you have chicken or just a salad? Oh, steak. <laughs> good, good choice. <laughs> okay, let me go back here to Jerry's line. Intonation. Well, no, I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those. Yeah, and we got that extra those. Those. And what does it mean, those? Oh, the people uh, like a veget vegetarian. Exactly, exactly. That's right. That's right. So, that's a bad word. <laughs> this is uh, this is a tough one, Lita. Uh, the spelling is a lie. It's a lie. The pronunciation is matin, like mountain. The T in the end. It's a glottal stop, and then it's a nay. Matinee. 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 Good. Matinee. Matinee. Good. Grandma Memo would take us to a matinee and then dinner here. Grandma Memo would take us to a matinee and then dinner here. Perfect. And here to try it again. Elaine never, never liked her Grandma Memo. Elaine never liked Grandma Memo. Uh... I always try to say linked. I know. <laughs> Elaine never linked. <laughs> Elaine never liked Grandma Mama. Good job, Grandpa. One more. Elaine never liked Grandma Mama. Perfect. Everton, you said A, which is actually okay, uh, but do this sentence again. What do you recommend besides besides a, besides a steak? Besides a steak. Besides the steak. What do you recommend besides the steak? What do you recommend besides the steak? Perfect. And Gustavo, no B, the lamb chops. No B at all. The lamb chops are good. Yeah, I know B. The lamb chops are good. One more time. The lamb chops are good. The lamb chops are good. <laughs> Very good. And... So, uh, this goes back to Everton. Yeah, we can say prepare, prepare. Uh, let's do it both ways. First of all, prepare. How do you prepare the chicken? How do you prepare the chicken? And then we'll go pr. How do you prepare the chicken? How do you prepare the chicken? Great job. Very good. Instead of prepare, what verb can we use? Cook. Cook. Yeah, get the pronunciation. Cook. 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 Perfect. 
Yeah, great job, guys. I'll come back to you guys a little bit later. Let me go to uh, Ingrid and Mikiko for the next one here. Ingrid, James, Mikiko, Elaine. Go for it, ladies. Hey, you are. Hey, boys. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, these are your dogs? Yeah, you know, when you live alone, your dogs are all you have. Do you like dogs? Shut up, you stupid little mutt. Dogs? Oh, I love dogs. <laughs> Boys, this is Elaine. Sorry, they are usually very friendly. Hey. <laughs> that was perfect, ladies. Uh, both of you, absolutely perfect. Thank you. I'm going to, so I don't believe it, so I'm going to keep testing you. Uh, Ingrid, you're George. Mikiko, you're Morgan. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mr. Morgan, how was your massage? I have to cancel it. You know, for some reason, my wife got it into her head that it was more than just a massage. Really? Yeah, anyway, we got a big, we got in this big fight at lunch. Looks like tonight I'll be sleeping on a couch. Hey, listen, don't oversleep. You can't afford to be late again. I know. Somebody around here been giving Wilhelm the impression that I have been slacking off. Hey, you know what? You should try my friend's wake-up service. She swears by this thing. Costanza, oh, I'm sorry. Right. Costanza, you may be my only friend around here. By the way, you got that birthday card? Ah, uh, not yet. All right, just make sure Stan Brenner doesn't get it until I sign it. Yes, sir. Yeah, once again, really great job. Uh, Ingrid, super, super job. Uh, wonderful. Let's go back here. Mikiko, uh, also excellent. Both of you guys, wonderful. A little bit more with the linking here. Got in this. We got in this big fight. We got in this big fight. Great job. One more. We got in this big fight. We got in this big fight. Super. And... Somebody around here's been giving Wilhelm. Somebody around here's giving us. Been giving Wilhelm. Uh, he has, has been giving Wilhelm. Good. So one more time. Somebody around here's been giving Wilhelm. Somebody around here's give. Somebody around here's been giving Wilhelm. Great job. Very good. Um, and Ingrid, you should try my friend's wake-up service. You should try my friend's wake-up service. She swears by this thing. She swears by this thing. Yeah, great job. And Mikiko Steinbrenner. Stein. Stein. Steinbrenner. Steinbrenner. Make sure Steinbrenner doesn't get it. Make sure Steinbrenner doesn't get it. Steinbrenner. Stein. Make sure Steinbrenner doesn't get it. I know the E is first, but the I is pronounced. Yes. Crazy English. Super job, ladies. Uh, let me go next. I'll have Vladimir. I want you to be Jerry. And Bertha. I want you to be Elaine for the last scene here. Go for it, guys. I mean, I just don't understand. You know, as soon as I met these dogs, they started growling at me. Well, maybe his dogs heard about how you tried to kidnap that other dog. These must like go, these must like to gossip. So, have you talked to Holly? Uh-huh. 
did she mention anything about our lunch? Um, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? I mean, she thought it was kind of strange to just order a salad, you know, for a man. Like a quick thing? A quiche. Quiche. Quiche, quiche thing. You're in the ballpark. Um, salad. What was I think, thinking? Women don't respect salad eaters. You got that right. But you're going all uh, there for dinner tonight, right? Mm hmm What is she making? I don't know, but I'm sure it had parents. Call it up. She won't mind if you come. Oh, don't worry. I'll be there and I'll be picking an entry, an artery. Very good, very good. Good job. Nice job, Vladimir. Bertha, super job. Uh, give me a little bit more. I don't know. I think it was the short A, Bertha. Short A and I didn't pronounce it. Uh, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. I just don't understand it. Bingo. Uh, flap T, Vladimir. That other. That other. That other. That other. That other dog. That other dog. These mutts like to gossip. These mutts like to gossip. Great job. Gossip. Gossip. Have you talked to Holly? Have you talked to Holly? Great job. Put those sounds together. Have you talked to Holly? Have you talked to Holly? Super. Berta, your favorite short A? Salad. And again, that's right, Vladimir, quiche, like a quiche, quiche. thing? Like a quiche thing? Bingo. Quiche. And better to this one again? That's a ballpark. Yep, A-W, that's right. You're in the ballpark. You're in the ballpark. Great job. And Vladimir, this one, oh, salad. Ah, oh. oh, salad. What was I thinking? What was what was I thinking? Women don't respect salad eaters. Women don't respect salad eaters. Salad eaters? Salad eaters. Good. Are you a salad eater, Vladimir? No. You're a meat eater? Yeah. Do women respect you? Mm, not always. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go here. But, uh, yeah, Jerry. But you're going over there for dinner tonight, right? But you're going over there for dinner tonight, right? Good. One more time. But oh, you're uh, going over there to for dinner tonight, right? But you're going over there for dinner tonight, right? What is she? What is she? What is she making? What is she making? Great job. This is a flap T. It's really tough. Perfect pronunciation, artery, but Americans artery. will say artery. 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 Yeah, it's better. I like it. Great. Artery. Great job, guys. That's it for Seinfeld. Uh, any questions here on anything? Super job. Okay, I'm closing. I'm going to open up, I think, 54. Yeah, 54 was the bear story. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna use the bear story. Sad ending to this bear story. I think some of you may know. We can talk about that later. I'm gonna break this into more pieces, though. Do 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 do. Everybody gets a line. That's how we're gonna do it. So some of you will have slightly longer lines, but there will be many, many lines to read. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, we'll go in order. I'll start with uh, Alexander Cherniak. 
then Bedetha, Everton, Gustavo, Ingrid, Mikiko, Vladimir, and we'll go back to Alex. Uh, basically, it's just one line, you know. Basically, this is how we're going to do it for everybody. So I'll try and highlight it. If uh, it gets confusing, uh, I'll interrupt. So Lita, start us off with the title and the first one. Yogi Bear's cousin. Amy, big update on yesterday's story. Bertha? <clears throat> That's right. Remember that big mystery in New Jersey? We first showed you with this video on Thursday, the bear walking on two feet. Everton. So many people are sharing the video and we were all wondering if, if it, it was real. So we sent ABC's Ron, Ron Claiborne to find out. Gustavo. If for yourself that Spats tell television news is not someone in a beer suit. Ingrid? A beer suit. Ingrid, your microphone is off. Sorry. They say it really is a bear standing on his hind legs and walking just as comfortably and smoothly as a person. My goodness, really good today. Mikiko? I think he walks better than... You cut your he... mic... One more time, Mikiko. One more time, please. I think he walks better than you, Don. Great job. He stuck his head up and first, and then he stood up fully, and then he started to walk. Very good. There it is. There it is. Is, is it my turn? Yes, Berta. Uh, this sighting car on camera, July 19th, the bear ambling down a residential street in suburban Oak Ridge, New Jersey. That is a that is a bipedal bear. Two weeks later, and uh, he goes again just to those down. He's looking at me. It's scary at first, but after you seen it a couple of times, it just becomes weird. McGowan says local residents have nicknamed the spare weenie. It turns out it turns out state wildlife officials have been monitoring Vinny ever since he was first reported to them back in June. They say, they say he's a juvenile under three years old and weighs about 250 pounds. And he's walking upright because his two front paws are injure, injured. Yeah, more than likely it was a car accident. Bears can walk on their hind legs very well. Ingrid? Do you, see, do you see him? Officials say the bear and his bear brethren are not a danger to people and they have no plans to capture or relocate them. Live and li live and let live. Wrong crib, cry wrong. ABC News, New York. Oh, they can't help him with his paws? Yeah, I hope they can, dude. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not gonna capture him. I know, I feel like he needs some help. If, if only to give him medical help, but I love how when he noticed the cameras. In short and shooting, he actually gets down and her falls.
like, wait, I don't want to let anyone know I have this power. Like that not. That's not my good angle. Look at that. Look look at how. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, he's like, oh, but I'm not gonna let Oh, but he's ginger. Look at yeah, it's very, you know, you can tell. It is funny until you hear it might be a bad thing. I know. Well, we wish him well. Great job, guys. Great job. Um, just some little points here. So even though it might not be your problem, go ahead and repeat uh, and practice. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. This third day. One more. First day. You know, and I know, Berta, if you're not reading it, you'll never make the pronunciation mistake. Thursday. I, uh, well, I'm sorry. Here in the South, is Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. My grandma said that. That's right. Okay. okay, next one. Everton. We were all wondering if it was real. We were real. We were all wondering if it was real. 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 We were all wondering if it was real. We, we were all wondering if it was real. Good. W-R-L can be a problem. One more time. One more time, Everton. Sorry, uh, the, uh, I have some cuts on the other. Sorry, I, I, I couldn't hear. I said uh, the W, R, and L can be a serious problem. You did good. Let me hear it one more time. We were all wondering if it was real. We were all wondering if it was real. Great job. And English is so beautiful. We got real, real, but then the pronunciation totally different. It's not beer, Gustavo, bear. Bear. Yeah, just like this, bear, bear. Bear. Okay? Okay. Do you like bear? Well, yes. Yes, of course. Now, wait a second, everybody. This is a good question. Do you like bear? Am I talking about the animal <laughs> or meat? <laughs> meat. You like oh. bear? Do you like bear means meat. <laughs> Do you like bear with a beer? That's right. There you go. What about this? Do you like chickens? Is that uh, the animal or bird uh, or the meat? The animal. That's right. That's right. So this is sometimes confusing uh, for people. If it's singular, we're talking non-count as in meat. If it's plural, we're talking uh, the animal itself. So, do you like bear? I, I okay. I lived in Korea, and as some of you might know, in Korea they eat dog. Okay. Uh, so I remember I had a neighbor, a Korean guy, and he asked me uh, in English. He said, "Oh, do you like dog?" And to be honest. Uh, I explored, I tried it, um, I will never eat it again, but I did, and I said, yeah, uh, it, it was okay, and he was shocked, because he was actually a dog breeder, a trainer, so he would never eat dog, he thought it was disgusting. And actually, so did I, but I didn't know how to respond. I thought his question was about meat. Um, so it was a, a horrible introduction to the neighbor. Be careful. Do you like dog means meat. Do you like dogs means the animal. So always be careful with that S or not. Okay, so. Well, but, so, he's, he meant, if you like dogs. He meant dogs, but he said dog, yeah. 
Yeah, so when did you eat the, that uh, meat dog? I didn't, I ate it, but I didn't know what it was. Korean people gave it to me. Um, they said, how do you like it? I said, it's fine. And then later they told me, like a week or two after they told me. Uh, oh. I was not happy. Uh, but I can honestly say, you know, meat was meat. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it has a lot of, it was a soup. So, you, you know, there's lots of flavoring. Um, do, but do I, would never, I would never go to buy it. Um, do you eat bear? Do they eat bear here in the U.S.? Yeah, they do. Actually, I'm from Wisconsin, and people do eat bear. Uh, and as far as I know, I've never had it. Mm, interesting. Yep. Yeah. Some people eat squirrel. Uh, English said uh, in Germany they eat whale. Oh, they eat, they eat whale in Alaska, too. I guess it's pretty good. <laughs> Might I say something? I pronounced it uh, wrong. I meant veal. Veal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, Berta. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, was, it was my mistake. And oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And veal is, unfortunately, <laughs> calf meat. Yeah, yes, I meant that. Sure. Yeah. It, it's very expensive in America. Is it expensive in Germany, too? Yes, it's expensive, about twice as much as beef. Yeah. But sometimes... Sometimes what? Sometimes we have to have it. It's a traditional meat, a uh, traditional first, like a celebration, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the thing. Um, if you travel around the world, every country has something weird or disgusting. Um, and we shouldn't say disgusting. We should just say different. Uh, because, uh, <laughs> once again, the idea, if you tell me, talking to me as an American who loves dogs and I've had dogs, would you eat a dog? Absolutely not. It would be impossible, like eating a cat. I couldn't do it. But there are places that do, um, and they just always have. It's just part of what they do. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we got, the world's a big place. <laughs> okay, let me go to Vladimir for this one. Mm. He stuck his head up at first. They, how did you know? What? So, before you said this, he stuck his head up at first. And that's not what I want. I want stuck up to be all together. He stuck his head up at first. Mm -hmm. Okay. He stuck his head up at first. Good. So we could say he stuck his head down at first. He stuck his head up at first. He stuck his head over at first. Okay. So stuck up, stuck, stuck down, stuck over. Uh, that's a phrasal verb, and it needs to stay together. Uh, here, we can have a slight pause, but that's it. Uh, Stay here, stood up fully, stood up fully. We want that to stick together. So one more time, Vladimir, this section. He stuck his head up at first, and then he stood up fully, and then he started to walk. Spasibo. Oh, yeah, Camera. Thank you, Berta. One more time. I can. <clears throat> Cam Camera. Thank you. Okay. Everton, you like beer or bear? Bears. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, get that beer. Uh, yeah. But I like beer, too. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, that is a bipedal bear. Excellent. 
Gustavo, just, 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 just. Just. More j -j 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 just. Just. There he goes again. Just two doors down. There, there he goes again. Just two doors down. One more time. There he goes again. Just two doors down. There he goes again. Just two door, two doors down. Very good. Very good. And who is this? Was it Vladimir again? Vinny. Vinny. This bear, Vinny. Vinny. This bear, Vinny. Much better. Let's compare. Winnie. Winnie. Vinny. Not Vinny. Winnie. Right. So I'm going to give you three. I'll, I'll give you three. Winnie. Winnie. Vinny. 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 Winnie. Which one is Russian? <laughs> Third. <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. But, but in Russian, Vinny. Thank you. I was going to say, I know it's bad. Yeah, so I know in Russia the W and V are kind of mixed together, but in American English, keep them really separate, okay? Winnie. Vinny. Winnie. 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 Vinny. Vinny. Perfect. Good job. And Lita, uh, ever since he was first reported. What was wrong with since? I don't know. It it what it can be it could be since. I can't remember what you did. Say it again though. Uh Vinny, ever since he was first reported. I don't know what the problem was. Maybe it was a. Uh, maybe it was uh, intonation or something. It was fine. And, and I want to say, your Russian sucks. Sorry, Shane. <laughs> Spasibo. <laughs> I bet. How is my English, Lita? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> you have to work harder. <laughs> I know. I know. I've been lazy. <laughs> Who is this victim? I think it was me. Uh-oh. Car accident. Car accident. More than likely it was a car accident. More than likely it was a car accident. Bears can walk on their hind legs very well. Bears can walk on their hind legs very well. Yeah, excellent. Very good. Uh, this one was you, I think. You said relocate them. So... Gustavo, I'm sorry, I'll be back with you in a minute, Ingrid. Gustavo, car accident. Car accident. Car accident. Car accident. 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 Good. Car accident. Car accident. No. <laughs> Car accident. Better. One more time. Watch carefully. I'll do it wrong. Car accident. That's wrong. Car accident. Okay. Car accident. Better. Again. Car accident. Ac Ac accident. 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 Good. Good. Car accident. It's the short A. Okay. Okay. Bears, bears, more air, bear, bears, bear, bears, yes, that was good, bears, can, bears, can, nope, bears, can, better, bears, can, bears, can, good, so, for Gustavo, now, normally, everybody, when Americans speak, we go pretty fast. Bears can walk, bears can walk, bears can walk. But for somebody like Gustavo, the long A is not good enough. 
So we need to master that A pronunciation. So I want Gustavo to make it even longer, which will help, because he needs to train his ear and his mouth to catch it. Then, mm. as time goes, it'll become more natural and quicker. So somebody who has no problem, they can say bears, bears, bears. But Gustavo, whose long A is oh, not good enough, I want it longer. Bears. Bears. Okay. Yes, yes. Keep practicing okay. like that, okay? Okay. Thank All right. You. Uh, here, now, this is Ingrid. I remember now. You said relocate them, but relocate him. Relocate him. There you go. Perfect. Oh, boy. This A-I-E-I. -E -I. What the heck's going on, Mikiko? It, this one isn't. This one is Claiborne. 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 Born. Claiborne. Perfect. Perfect. And Vladimir? With his paws. With his paws. 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 Good job. Try the whole thing here. They can help him with with his paws. Question. They can help him with his paws. Great job. And you said can, Lita, which is okay. Give me a schwa, though. Uh, yeah, I hope they can do it. Yep, perfect. Don't leave out the S. Gustavo notices. Notices. Cameras. Cameras. Cam. Cameras. Ca cameras. Good, good. I love how... Oh, let's go here. When he notices the cameras. When he notices the cameras. The can't can't act cameras. Cameras. When he notices the cameras. When he notices the cameras. Much better. Cameras. Cameras. Good job. A bad thing. This is also Gustavo. A bad thing. A bad thing. Very good. And lovely, lovely W's. Ingrid? Well, we wish him well. Perfect. And I love the wells because they mean totally different things. Well, we wish him well. Well, we wish him well. One more time. Well, we wish him well. Smile on this one. Well, we wish him well. Danke schön. Bitte schön. <laughs> Gesundheit. Danke schön. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, you said it ended up not good. I said what? You said uh, uh, the story ended up not good. Yeah. Um, about a week ago, this bear was killed. Uh, it was bow hunting season in New Jersey, and this bear was uh, killed in the hunt. Uh, so, sad story, um, but uh, yeah. This video is actually three years old. Um, so Vinny stayed around. Vinny, actually, the, the original name was Vinny, but then people started calling him uh, Petals. Uh, so from Vinny, his name changed to Petals, and about a week ago, Petals was shot by a hunter um, with a bow and arrow, and uh, Petals is gone. But... Uh... That hunter, he shot him when he was standing? Uh, I don't know the situation, but I do know that many people hate the hunter. Like, he was, ah, I know you're a celebrity bear. Uh, and kill. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm guessing the hunter didn't know. Uh, any bear will stand on its legs, okay? Um, 
So I, I have no idea, but I'm guessing. I've been hunting, and I know. When, you, when you're hunting, when you're sitting there with a gun or with a bow and arrow waiting for an animal, the whole time – Alexander, mute your mic, please. There's some static. Thank you. The whole time you feel a bit nervous because you're anxious. And when, when you see a deer or a bear – suddenly your heart starts pumping and, and, you, you, and you get nervous and stuff like that. So you're moving really slow. And what you're doing is you're not looking at the bear you're what, or the deer. You're watching for the movement because you don't want to go too fast because the bear or the deer, they know that it's a dangerous season. Lead up. Mute your mic, please. I hear too much uh -huh. static. Um, so... Uh, so you're, you're not concentrating on exactly the bear. You're concentrating on movement. And then you're concentrating when you see the bear, you're not looking at the bear. You're looking at the target spot where you want to shoot. So, um, I, I understand. I, I don't think the hunter's a bad guy. I am sure the hunter did not want to kill petals um but i'm sure also that the hunter didn't know it was petals that's my guess so i feel sorry for the hunter go ahead uh what do you think uh do they hunt bears for for meat or just to be like a pride i'm, I'm a good hunter no so mute your mic again um, so they have, uh, there's two reasons for hunting. Um, from the government perspective, it's a cull. And for the hunter's perspective, it's either for meat or trophy. Okay, this is the reasons for hunting. And the government... Um, if there are too many animals, specifically males, if there are too many deer or if there are too many bear, that can be dangerous, that can be a problem, so they manage the population. So they manage population and they know, they have a very good idea how many deer, how many bear there are. So every year they give a hunting license and one year the license might be uh, 200 deer, and the next year, the license might be 500 deer. Every year, the number changes, and the same with bear. Every year, this number of licenses change. If you do not have a license, you cannot shoot a deer. You need to have a license, um, and, you know, it might be 200 deer, so 200 guys can shoot a deer, or it might be less. And for the government's reason is to manage the population. It's called a cull. Now, for the hunter, um, the reason, who knows, uh, it could be uh, for the meat or it could be for a trophy like, yeah, I'm a good, tough hunter. You never know. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, I do know that bear meat is not super popular. Uh, so trophy is probably more the reason, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. That's it. You agree you want to have that trophy in your house, right? Um, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't think so. My, I, my dad had a friend who got a bear and he kept, uh, the fur of the bear and it was beautiful. Uh, and it was, it was amazing, um, what they can do with the fur of the bear. Uh, and it was fantastic. It was beautiful. And I don't know uh, about me. I'm a, a meat 
eater. So I don't think I would ever go uh, bear hunting. I don't think I would go moose hunting. Um, but I would go deer hunting. And if I, the reason I would go deer hunting, number one, is for the meat. I like it. But I'll be honest. Some deer uh, are beautiful. And they got the horns that are just beautiful. So honestly speaking, if I were lucky and got a big deer, I would harvest the meat. And if it had a beautiful uh, antlers, we call them, or horns, but antlers, I'll write it down. Um, I would probably uh, show the antlers. So I would, depending on the deer, uh, I would probably do both. Uh, regarding a bear, because I don't eat, I have never eaten bear meat, uh, probably not. I'd have to try the meat. And if I like the meat, maybe I would. Okay, thank you for your explanation. Do you hunt? Does anybody hunt in Belarus, Belarusia? Of course, a lot of people hunt, but I know some guys who hunt illegal. And they told uh, uh, they told a lot of story when they hunt, just insane. Uh, when we when we drove uh, on on the car, and we spot a lot of that big peaks and just go and uh, drive on them oh, and they killed and they killed the like uh, 11 11 those do they eat it and do they eat it yes okay yes he eat it and uh, I asked him to give the one uh, one uh, one piece for me to to try it it was good, but um, on the next day, it not feel, it was not feel good, you know, like in prod, it's uh, like a sour, mm. something like that, not good. Okay, I'll tell you something, your friends are crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, he's not my friend. Okay, but... that, that guy's crazy. Um, yeah. When, this is, uh, so hunting is not easy, hunting is not just killing, um, because... I'm sorry if I'm giving too much information, uh, but you have to be careful when you uh, hunt because the inside of an animal, the intestines, the spleen, um, if they open, it poisons all of the meat. So if you so if you're driving down the road and you hit a car, you hit a deer, or you hit a pig, or you hit something, you can't eat the meat because most likely the organs, the inside of the deer, uh, has opened and it poisons the meat. You'll get sick. It's just a ridiculous thing. So even when you're hunting. Uh, a hunter, a, a real hunter, will not just shoot, pow, pow, pow. They'll be really careful about where they shoot. Two reasons. Number one, so that the animal doesn't suffer. Boom, it's, it's done. But number two, so that they, they, they can eat the meat. They don't, they're never going to shoot. They're never going to shoot in this area. It's always going to be way up here, or this is a very difficult area. It's, it's generally the animal's front leg, the, right behind the front leg is where basically the only place you want to shoot. And I, I apologize if it's too much information. But, and my dad, when my dad taught me how to hunt, my dad said, if you cannot shoot here, don't shoot the deer. And yeah, so that's, that's what a real hunter uh, is going to do. It's for respect, but also you want to eat the meat, so. And they have uh, that uh, infrared uh, optical. Uh, Night time. I said, I said uh, it's not a hunting. No. It's just like uh, you go to a store 
to uh, grab some food. Uh, there is no there is no chance for deer to uh, escape. Yeah, that's not hunting, right? I agree. Questions on anything, guys? Uh, we didn't do 355, 356. I'm not going to, uh, but uh, let me open it just so everybody knows what the subject was. Uh, 356 was about the smartphone, uh, and of course, uh, Seinfeld for uh, 355. Any questions there? Anything? Are we going to do this in the afternoon? I don't know what I'll do. It depends on how many people. We have a great, I, I like this amount of people, uh, so it's really perfect for me. That's why I chose the first two. But uh, if we have more people, I'll probably do the other two. That's it? Come on. I missed you. You can guys. go for lunch. You can go for lunch now. I ate lunch. I'm going to go take a walk. Oh, me too. To the, in the forest. Yeah, there you go. That sounds nice. Yeah. Well, okay, adios. thank you. Adios, Berta. Thank you so much, Lita, Everton. Uh, uh, Everton has a... a a, a, he's playing the guitar on Instagram. I haven't heard it yet, but I'm going to listen. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Absolutely. Uh, Gustavo, Ingrid, Mikiko, Vladimir, thank you so much. I will be back in about five hours. So if you're awake, you're more than welcome to join. Okay? Okay. okay thank thanks you. so yeah. much, Coach. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.